I got a new pet. This guy's awesome. Don't have to feed him, and he cleans up after himself. Now that you guys met Vac, I'll bring you up to speed on the BMW. I'm not sure if I killed the battery last night or not. I did. Battery is now engaged. Now we should have all our power. As you guys know, I've had this for quite a while. And yes, it's been put on the back burner a few different times. But, you know, it's the holiday season. You gotta treat all your, all your family members with respect. All your machines with respect. And we got to, well, to tell you the truth, we don't have any parts for anything else. So we better diagnose this guy. So, all right, yep, everything's working. Hazards worked last night. We got it here safely. Windows even work. This thing's a beast. How could you dislike the BMW? Let's see if the, that works. Sweet. Very good. Okay, so here's our issue. Last night you guys saw this thing was running like absolute dog crap. And the reason behind that is probably a few different things, but one. The, the biggest one that I can see right now is the fact that I can stick my finger right on in there. And shoestring. You like the shoestring? That's a nice classy touch. I do know. Uh, I don't have a... I'm not sure if this thing's supposed to have... Yeah, it is. It's supposed to have lifters on it. You can see right there. And down there, it's supposed to have some hydraulic lifters. I don't have those. I usually use a shovel. Uh, but I want to... we got to fix that. I need some brackets or something. Here's our brackets that I used to carry this thing home last night. As you can see, I bolted. I just used the original bolt on that one, which wasn't very big at all. It uses half inch over here, but that's small. And then this side, you can see that I actually tore this one out because I originally just bolted one bolt into there. Cause I'm like, well, man, that's gonna hold it, you know, if you pull it straight. Well, it didn't. So then I went out and got some other bolts. And you can see, holy smokes, that destroyed that. Look how hollowed out that is. That one, it's A-OK, -okay. it just pulled this out a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna have a hard time uh, receiving the stock bumper, but we didn't plan on using that anyways. Just to kind of bring you up to speed, that guy we're waiting on parts. This guy's waiting on the ultrasonic cleaner. The carburetor's being cleaned again because it's giving me issues. And then that is waiting on parts. The C60 is up at my father's house. That's in uh, a bunch of muddy water right now. And plus we're, we're figuring out exactly what we're gonna do with it. It's just, uh, it would be, uh, with it being an hour away and it we only having so many hours of daylight, it's just tricky and it's freezing as well. So this guy we can eventually bring in here, which is nice. Uh, we just got some milk that came in, so maybe we do have something else going on. I wonder if any mice got into this as well. I think I took it to Chris's shop last year, and I think some mice got to some of the wires as well, so... Check the oil over here. Let's see if we blew a head gasket. No, it looks good too. That's really good. There's probably only like 300 miles on that oil. So there's my door from my side. Got near any goodies. This e brake sucks. I do know that. After uh, hooking it up, it didn't lock up the rear tires at all, so I gotta get a new e brake on that. Uh, I want to somehow hook up the brake pedal itself to this system so that way you can use the brakes on the floor as well as this without having two different calipers. I do have to look at uh, this form. I might be able to figure that out. If any of you guys know any YouTube videos, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, the rear seats are still out of here. Which sweatshirt is this? Oh, hey, it's, it's one of mine. 
Hey, gloves, sweet. We're hitting a gold mine here. Just for wrench, wow. Hey, we should have pumped up the rear tire last night. Son of a gun, see, all you gotta do is observe. Yeah, you can see those arms are twisted there. Those are supposed to be straight. So I need to get, um, looks like two of them. That one's screwed up too. Probably from field, <laughs> field riding it. But I did put the really good uh, diff mounts in there. I used the polyurethane instead of the rubber ones. I mean, like I'm dragging some aluminum there. Yeah. Some behind the scenes stuff. Bench has a lot of work on it, and the cool thing is, is the Yamaha three wheeler parts just came in. Wow, I got the right size. But I brought a knife to the gunfight. Lines are in really good shape. I don't know if I'm going to need my D Max or not to get this thing off the rim. in the back of my truck and brought it here king tire off of bailey i guess and uh they took it off for me they weren't going to charge me anything but i threw the five bucks in the guy's pocket anyways and this is way better than five bucks as well Sweet, it fits. Like I told you guys earlier, 
in a previous video that I did buy a battery that wasn't exactly the size of the other one and it was slightly wider, but this one looks good. Sweet. This in here, you guys know when in doubt, cross thread it out. Don't even want to start. There you go. You just have to yell at it, just like a kid. <laughs> Parenting with Dalton. 3D machines. We'll teach you how to raise your kid. No, I said do the laundry. We have our new air filter. So our engine will be breathing really well. See if we can figure this thing out. That feels good. Like that. It says upper there, but that just kind of flops around. Does this really hold it into place? Yes, it must. So I, I believe I told you guys that I'm using the original carb. The new carb was giving me the same problems. It was leaking a little bit. So I figured if they were both leaking, I can get the old one to freaking work. But I gotta get the new one to work. Now I'm gonna replace the petcock. The petcock barely leaks at all, but they're ridiculously cheap. So I bought a new one. Now the thing is, is, this is the original thing that's been on here since 1985. How hard is it going to be to take it off? Sweet. Nice. Nice. With how sweet this whole thing is going back together, I'm going to wrap my teeth out. I should do is I should tighten this back up and I should pry that fuel line off while I have it kind of hooked up to the fuel tank. Now with the old, clean it up a little bit. And then in with the new.
trim this guy back a little bit so we can use something a little tighter around. Before I finish up putting all the plastics on and everything, I just want to make sure it runs. So we're on there. Choke is engaged. It starts right up. Very good. You guys like my battery holder? Nothing says a battery holder like a red bungee. It matches the scheme, okay? Now let's put these screws in, shall we? Now this is a bag of hardware that I purchased from my Honda when I was rebuilding that because I figured, well, I know I'm going to probably fix other stuff, so may as well buy it and uh, have extras for, you know, projects like this. And I'm hoping that some of these bolts work. Hopefully they're the same thread and pitch. Yep, that'll work. I got a breather on the fuel cap there. I don't think I want to put this teeth saver on. I think it looks better with with it off. It's just really faded. You can see that's what it's supposed to look like and then that's what it is supposed to look like. I guess I could do a comparison. What do you think? Do you guys concur? I just I don't think that looks very good. I think I'm taking it off unless I am outvoted in the comment section below. Can you guys remember when I was talking to you about the key and the switch here? Well, the reviews were right because they said that this specific switch 
was not made for this bike. They said it was made for an 86. But the reviewers below said it did work for an 85. However, it's just a little short. So what I'm going to do, and, and they were right, what I'm going to do is just take back this, this you can see it's uh, wrapped in this right here, behind here. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect it. I also tried to route it the other way because it's supposed to go on this side of the frame, but I tried to go on the other side of the frame and I was closer, but no cigar. So that's the plan. Let's see what we got here. Okay, can't screw those two up. Can't screw that up. That wire doesn't matter. Here's our key switch. You can probably tell because it's got a nice piece of brand new plastic on it. There's that. this open without screwing up the wires here. It's like gutting a deer. You gotta be careful. You gotta put your knife in there, but not enough to cut the vitals. Because then you get a stinky mess. We don't want the red one over on this side, we want the other one. If we can do this and not have to reset or anything, I'd be happy. There's our guy. Is it the other one? And can we reach? Well, reach is better. I can't send it if it isn't going to work 100% because I still have to steer. So, got to do a test. It reaches that. That's the easy part, but turning the wheel is the second part. So you can see over here, that's hooked up. You can see we got play here. When I turn it like that, still got play. Still got play, and that's our farthest that it's gonna be, so that's good. And that's gonna get nice and sloppy. I got a little alcohol on this paper towel. We'll shine this up. I figure after the first ride, I'm going to rub all this off of my foot, so no point in cleaning that up and painting that. That's designed to be like that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in a car wash right now to pressure wash some plastics, but on my route, I picked some of this up. You guys won't want to miss this video. We got some ticking on the Yamaha. We're going to see if this will fix it. time for a headlight assembly. Excuse my not so good spray painting skills. I used a Krylon uh, plastic paint and that's how it covered. That's like four or five coat. And that's one, two, three. That's at least three coats. 
and it's it didn't cover very good but that's the inside the outside looks better that's like five or six coats So took the after confirming the length of the key I took this back off so now put this guy back on Hook up some wires. Those feel good. I can hear him doing some plowing across the street. Can you guys? That feels good. That feels good. I believe we have all our wires hooked up back there. Now, just gonna line these two bolts up behind here. He should be set. Actually, let me hook up my, let me get my key switch a little closer to the area. There you go. This, there's two of these bolts that hang on to that kind of metal framework to the headlight. That side's tight. You guys should be able to see that one a little better. It's right, right up in there. Doesn't want to eat. She's on. Take two. Take two. Now the question is, do our bulbs work? Well, so far neutral light isn't working right now. And that's not working right now. What'd we break? I'll put the stagger on real quick and then I'll be able to roll it around. As you can probably see, I found the issue. It was actually, it's either this brown wire here or this red wire here. And like I told you guys before, uh, I moved this over on this side so that way, you know, it would work. However, there still isn't that much wire. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to drill through this plate here uh, just big enough so I can get my fitting through so that way it stays protected inside the, the frame here but yet can get to the key switch. I just don't feel like soldering it and I know we can get around it. There we go. That's how Yamaha should have done it. <laughs> so now, got nothing but room for activities. And the green light is still on. Sweet. Now, when we put our gas tank on, gotta make sure that that green light stays lit. Still good? Oh yeah. I don't think we're gonna have any problems with that. Yep. One last thing, and that's some aluminum valve caps so we don't get any mud or debris and our valves and yes those are found at machinemerch.com or 3dmachines.co and like i said you spend over 25 bucks or more get a free beanie this holiday season the last and final touch well you guys i want to thank you for tuning in and watching this series of rebuilding this three-wheeler and getting it from non-running to running it was exciting i had fun uh, before we end this 3D Machines production, I have a few different things to tell you. One, uh, we are going to be doing an experiment with this guy. Uh, like I showed you before, I bought some Marvel Mystery. It's got a slight tick in it, and nothing I'm too concerned about, but I kind of wanted to see if the Marvel Mystery will uh, solve that issue without me having to uh, tear the top end apart or tear the, the valve covers off. Uh, supposedly, uh, one of the guys that used to work at uh, the shop that I used to go to before I moved out here, he said that it fixed even rod knock. So to fix a tick, you know, is, is huge, but to, to fix a knock is even bigger. Uh, also, uh, next video will be the final ride of this thing. And I am going to go all out. I'm gonna ride the hell out of this thing. Might actually break it gonna see uh, what it does for wheelies what it can do for donuts um, just put it through some work and then uh, last thing um, and now until Christmas uh, when you spend more than $25 or $25 or more at machinemerch.com or 3dmachines.co uh, I'll throw in a free beanie for you uh, keep your head warm well, reduce your chances of getting sick how's that Last two nuts. Last nut. She's done. Now she start. Oh my goodness, the light even worked. That's what I'm talking about. You are a good girl after all, aren't you? Stay tuned, you guys. Subscribe. Hit that like button if you feel froggy fresh. Until next time, 3D Machines and this Yamaha 225DX out.